I told you things were happening to me. Things that hurt. And you say it happens to everyone. Then I was, I was talking about growing up, you know, becoming a man. Like, and getting muscles and hairs and stuff like that. I didn't understand. Has she touched you anywhere she shouldn't? Oh, Mum. <gasps> you got to ask. You don't have to be ashamed, darling. It's all right. She never did anything like that. Well, that's something, I suppose. No, it's not something. Look at the state of him. She's been torturing him. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't say that, mate. It's my fault. No, it's not. I shouldn't have been so horrible to her. Then... If I'd been nice, she might not have got so angry. Listen, yeah. I played those tricks when I... I kept messing her papers up and... Now, listen to me, all right? Now, you've done nothing wrong. It's her that's done something wrong, OK? I was scared. She said Dad would be upset with me. And he's going to get rid of me like he did to Louise. <sighs> what has she been doing to him? And she said if I spoiled things, I wouldn't wake up in the morning. What? I didn't want you to find me dead in my bed. <sighs> It's all right, it's all right. You ain't, you ain't never gonna see her again, I promise you. I love you. I love you. I can't believe I let this happen. I mean, I let this happen in my own house. Didn't you hear anything? Didn't you? Well, you're the one that said she was all right, didn't you? Oh, let's not start blaming each other. Phil, I'll look after Ben. What am I supposed to do? Make her pay. <laughs>